Hi guys, it's Tatiana Yugarlov here from Vegan on Recipes and today we're going to be making pumpkin squash soup. Let's start. It's very sweet, it's very savory and today I'm going to be serving it in a mini pumpkin and I'll be giving it today to my neighbors. So here we have one carrot, one onion, three potatoes, one sweet potato, two to three chopped pumpkin, and you can uh, check my video how to cut and peel a big pumpkin. And here we have uh, acorn squash, butternut squash, spaghetti squash, and this one is kabocha squash. So, and from each one of the squash, I'll be cutting it in half. So my first step, it's gonna be chopping, to put some oil on top, some spices, and in the oven at 400 degree. Then I'm gonna peel the squash, I'll put it in a pot, I'll put water, I'll cook it, and then I'll blend it handy. And I will garnish it with chopped onions and chopped vegan and gluten-free burgers. It's not hard, it's the only thing is just to cut them and that's it. But it's not gonna take so long and I'm gonna show you how I'm cutting it my way. So now I'll be chopping the vegetables that I peeled and are ready to be chopped. Carrot, potatoes, onion, sweet potato and uh, well, pop, pumpkin, it's already chopped. One tray is ready with chopped vegetables. Now we're going to the part of uh, squash. We're not gonna be peeling them, we're gonna be only chopping them. Okay, so I'm gonna start with uh, spaghetti squash. Chop the two edges and then I'll cut it in, uh, lengthwise in half. You're definitely gonna have to have a good knife. <laughs> very, very good and sharp knife for that, for the squash. Okay, now that we did the edges, I'm gonna cut it in half. So one I'm gonna put in a refrigerator and one I'm gonna clean it and, uh, and I'm gonna bake it. It's ready and then I'll put it aside and I'll continue with the next squash. Now I will continue with kabocha squash. So I did this half and I'll do this the other half. For this one, you really need to have a very good knife. Um, my husband just bought it for me like a few months ago and it changed everything for me. So I'm cutting this edge now. And this edge. And this one will go to the refrigerator for next time for something else. Now I'll be cleaning it from inside too. And just like that, I'll put it in the oven. It's very nice. Looks very nice. And after the oven, it's so easy to peel it. Like, shik. Okay, our next is acorn. Yum. I love acorn. I'll probably gonna cut the 
two edges also in here and then I'll cut it in half and I'll chop it. Another half goes to the refrigerator and I'm gonna clean from inside. Very nice. Even when I had my bad knife, I never cut myself, but I really, really recommend you to have a very good nice knife for this job. Now, the same with butternut squash edges. So this one also I'm gonna cut in half. One, I'll put it aside. I'll cut it in uh, lengthwise. So this part, there's no seeds. In the other half part, there is seeds, but this one, no seeds here. Then quarters. See? Or you can cut it in half if you want. Again, like this. It depends on you. How do you want it? Sometimes I'll chop them in a big chunk, sometimes I'll chop them in smaller chunks. It depends on how much patience you have. I just turned on my oven to preheat it uh, at 400 Fahrenheit. So now I'm ready to oil and spice the vegetables. So here I have oil and here I have my spices. So it's garlic, onion powder, uh, black pepper, paprika, and sea salt. Very, very simple. I don't measure it. I just do it by eye and you'll see how I'm doing it. And there's no right or wrong. You can add your own spices if you want. That's my favorite spices that I know goes very well with that soup. And I have experience with that. That's why I don't add anything else. But you can play and see what you like. So. I'm gonna start with the oil first. And now I'm ready with the spices. If you wonder why I'm, if you're wondering why I'm putting uh, so much, it's because when I'll start cooking it and I'll add water into the pot, I'm not adding any more spices. I'm done. I'm done spicing them. So I know some people will spice it when before they're putting it in the oven. They'll spice it again when they'll make some soup maybe or something else. I don't spice it again. I'm done spicing. Paprika. Black pepper because um, if I'll do it with a teaspoon, it'll be I'll probably drop too much, so I'll be sprinkle it with uh, fingers. It's gonna be less. I don't want it to be spicy. If I'll have leftovers after I give to my neighbors, um, my boys won't eat it if it's too if it's uh, spicy for them. Garlic.
Okay guys, so it's ready to go to the oven. So while the vegetables baking at 400 Fahrenheit for around 30 to 40 minutes, I'll be preparing my garnish for the soup, uh, chopped onions and chopped uh, gluten-free burgers. For the garnish ingredients, I'm gonna be using two yellow onions, two red onions, two vegan and gluten-free burgers. You can add four if you want. And the spices, I'm gonna be using a quarter teaspoon of uh, paprika, quarter teaspoon of uh, sea salt, quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and uh, quarter teaspoon onion powder. Black pepper, you can use eighth teaspoon and oil as much as you need. I'll probably gonna be using maybe one tablespoon to two tablespoons of uh, oil. So while the pan is heating up, I'll dice the burgers and I'll dice the onions. You don't have to add burgers here for garnish. It's up to you wherever you want. One time uh, I did something similar uh, with the soup. I um, I added onions and uh, hot dogs, vegan and gluten-free hot dogs. And if you don't want any of it, you can do just onions and maybe walnuts. And if you want to garnish. So it's up to you. You can garnish maybe just onions and garlic. So I added two tablespoons of oil. So the vegetables are ready, as you can see. Looks very nice, very good. Smells very good too. And this is my biggest pot. I'm gonna be putting everything inside this pot. So those vegetables are already chopped and peeled. And this is the squash that I'm gonna be peeling and adding also into the pot. You can do it with your fingers, you can do it with a um, sharp knife, small sharp knife. So as you see, while I'm frying the onion and the burger, I'm gonna be peeling the squash. After around 5 to 10 minutes, I'm going to add the spices on top. I'll fry for another 5-10 minutes and I'll turn it off. I'm ready to add the spices. So as you can see, the vegetables are ready, all of them in a pot, and I'm not gonna be measuring the water, it's all up to you. But the way I'm gonna be doing it, it's I'm gonna be covering until the vegetables are covered. So it depends on you if you want it to liquidy or do you want it to uh, thick. I like it a little bit more thick, so I'm gonna be just filling it up until it covers all the vegetables. Here it is, and it's ready. 
I'm gonna be cooking it till it boils and then I'm just gonna blend it by uh, a handy blender. So while this one is cooking, I'm gonna be cutting and cleaning the mini pumpkins. So the fried vegetables are ready. I'm gonna replace it with the soup. So while the soup is cooking, I'm ready to cut and clean these cute mini pumpkins. So the first step is to cut the top off and then clean it inside with a spoon. So if you wanted to make it easy, I'll just suggest to take a sharp knife and cut a little bit inside so it can uh, be easier to scrape everything from inside with your spoon. That's how I did the last time, but the, with the first one, I didn't do it. You see how easy it was? So as you can see, it was so quick. It was quick, like it was like 10 minutes. So it's really clean and I'll check if the soup is ready. And if it's ready, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna blend it now and I'll show you how I'm blending it. I'm gonna pour inside, I will garnish it. So it's been uh, boiling uh, uh, for about five minutes, I'll say. And I'm ready to blend it with my hand blender. I'm gonna just reduce the heat, start blending. Never hold it on top of the uh, on the top of the surface and blend it because there's a holes here and everywhere it can splash just like literally everywhere. I had these mistakes a few times. Just make sure you're pushing it down and then underneath. You want to make sure there's no chunks, you want it smooth. It also depends how you like it. Do you like with chunks? Do you want it really smooth? I like it more smooth, especially if you have uh, kids, young kids or babies, that they're gonna love it. Okay. So I'm ready, I think I'm done. I think it's very, very smooth and creamy, uh, even though the soup is hot, because the pumpkin, as you can see here, it's a very thick layer here. So it's just gonna be warm. be filling it up because I want to garnish it so I'll keep a little bit uh, space inside So I'm ready to garnish the soups and uh, and yeah, it's ready. The soups are inside the pumpkins, as you can see. They look cute and, and there's steam coming out, but it's not hot to touch, so it's nice. Um, I'm gonna start garnishing it.
I'm really excited to deliver to my neighbors. Uh, it's a husband and wife, uh, two couples, husband and wife, and, uh, and they're Persian. And I hope they'll enjoy this uh, recipe. And I'm still working on them, but it's not easy to convert people who eat um, animal products every single day. So, but I'm patient and I'm very positive. So if you like this video, please comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I really hope you like this video. I really hope also you like the recipe. And if you did try it at home, please let me know in a comment below. So thank you guys. Thank you for being with me.